as we watch the pandemic uh, evolve, as we look at the economic impact of what we're facing, we were concerned about the small businesses and startups that are working on climate change, that are working on social equity, that might not survive this downturn and whose absence would be sorely missed, who, whose absence would mean regression on these very important challenges. And we developed a fund called Preserve the Progress to ensure the survival of those key change makers. The Preserve the Progress Fund focuses um, specifically on change makers who are working on climate change and social equity. And this fund, we are um, uh, working with our uh, entire ecosystem. So we have about 750 um, uh, companies on platform today who may or may not meet the criteria for this um, this uh, this pillar, but these are you know the the ones that we're closest to. We also have at our in our network the portfolio companies of the fund managers we work with, and then another three thousand in our broader network through our CDFIs and um, and all of the companies in our ecosystem. It's it's a very deep um, benchmark, and gratefully we have a lot of technology to support us in our um, selection process. So some example um, uh, of the needs that we're seeing here. Um, there's many and many, many, but um, the one um, that I like to talk about in social equity is Ignite Power, um, which is a company that serves um, about a million people in Africa with just enough power on a solar panel to uh, charge a cell phone and give them light at night. And if Ignite were not to survive this, this downturn, a million people in Africa would be left in the dark. In climate change, we talk about uh, Carbon Lighthouse, which has taken the equivalent of 12 power plants offline with their emissions reductions because of the energy efficiency that they've created in the built environment. Another example of a company who would, would be sorely missed and who would mean regression if they weren't to survive this downturn.